so prima. <laughs> you like that, huh? What you drinking on? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Daylight Window Tint, AKA the only place I will ever get my windows tinted. You're an hour drive from me. I come all the way down here to see you, not just because you dropped it gorgeous, but you do amazing tint work. So we need some tint here on this beautiful 2020. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> He's a little camera shy, I think, but this is gonna change the entire look of the truck, hands down. So as you guys can see, Pedro offers first-in-class comfort for his customers with a living room nicer than mine. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, TV entertainment, free Wi-Fi, a living room, and a waiting room as well. And here's all, like, the displays of all the tent right here. So it starts out at ATC, CTX, and IRX, the top-of-the-line film right here. And he also does paint protection film also. He does a lot of that, very experienced. Pedro, yes, sir. how long have you been installing uh, paint protection film? Paint protection for 10 years. Yeah, so he's pretty experienced. So let's run through these tint options. So it starts at ATC, and it looks like it offers pretty good, so it's 99% UV protection, UV protection also, right? All these are 99% on the UV, but it's the IR, which is the heat rejection, right? So this still has pretty good heat rejection, I think, for a base, like for an entry level film, color stable, um, and it offers 29%, 28, 29, 29%. Common misconception when it comes to window tint is the darker you go, the more heat rejection there is, right? And that's totally false, as you guys can see right here too, is this is one of the lighter films right here, and it offers 68% IR rejection or heat rejection, and here's the darkest film at 5%, and it offers 79%, so not too far off, um, but you can go with even a clear film right here and it still offers, what's this one offer right here as far as IR goes? Probably similar to about this, right? About the same. So, yeah, so the ceramic tint right here, the CTX is just a lower version. This is a higher version of the ceramic film right here. So, a little more on the IR rejection, 87% versus 69. So, pretty close. But what's amazing is this machine right here, which will blow your mind. So, ATC is the lowest level of film. That's the dyed film, and as you guys can see, the 5% is the darkest one, and I feel every bit of heat coming through there. Rotate over to the CTX, and I feel, I mean, a lot less heat, definitely a lot less, but over here to the IRX, I feel literally nothing. And then this right here is IRX also, but it's clear. Dude, I feel absolutely nothing. So it's pretty amazing what even the clear film can do. So yeah, there's no difference between 5%, and the clear film when it comes to heat rejection, it just simply looks. So I like tint for the sake of like the look of privacy, but definitely keeping the sun, like the heat out of my truck, dude. Last time I tinted my truck here, we went with the IRX series and it felt like a winter day on a hot summer day inside my truck. So it's amazing the performance that this right here offers. What do you recommend for someone that wants like, I don't know, a slight look on the windshield of tint, but not too much. I feel like 50% to me was perfect even in the nighttime, but that's just, mm -hmm. I have strong vision. So if you want it to be kind of not noticeable at all in the nighttime, what would you say, like 70% maybe? It's probably safer, 80%? 70% or 80%. Yeah, that's why I'd say, I'd say so too. 50%, you can definitely notice it at nighttime. Mm -hmm. I think 70 or 80%, and if you have, there's a 90% too, right? No, only 80%. 80, okay, well 80 is pretty much invisible, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like a little bit darker on the front. I'd say we do limo on the sides, and then can we do windshield? Yeah, we can do that too. 50%? Yeah. Let's do it. You're actually using a plotter to cut the tint before it even goes on the truck, huh? Yes. Which is awesome because you get a much more, I guess a precise cut, right? And then blades aren't going on the car too and stuff like that. So it just, it speeds up pro the process for one, but it just makes for a much more precise cut. So all this was computer cut. Dang, Pedro, I turned around for two seconds. You've already finished an entire window. Dude, you are fast. What he's doing right now is shaving, so he puts it right above the edge of the window, and then he shaves it with a blade so it gets a real close cut to the top of the glass. So pro tip to anyone trying to match the front glass to the rear glass, because it comes with a factory pigment on the back windows, on most trucks and SUVs, it says it right here in the corner of the glass. What's the factory like pigment on the back glass? Usually like what, 15, 20%? 20 percent? 20%. About 20%. The reason why I really like Lumar films is because it, I think Lumar is probably the closest match to a factory tint, right? 
because they're the closest, like, it's called charcoal. And a lot of tins have a bluish or like a brownish or just a colored tint to them in some fashion. And uh, Lumar has a very nice, like, just true, like, black look to it. So what would you say, a bet, like, the best combination of the factory 20% is? Like, what do you combine with 20% to make it like a limo? If you were to do 5% on the front windows, and then you want it to match the rear that's already tinted by the factory, what do you throw in there, 35 maybe? Or, or probably 20, huh? 20%. Probably 20%. So 20 on top of 20. Um, if you do a 20% on the back windows and a five on the front, that'd be about a match right there. But we go in, we go in five over that factory tint though. We're going, we're going dark, bro. You trim every single car? Every single car. That's crazy. I feel like that's, that's like an extra service at most other shops. So, change of plans. We went from the 50% to a 40%, dude. <laughs> that is dark right there, my guy. Oh my goodness. Sure, which role is that, by the way? This is the GMT. <laughs> Flicks the wrist at us one time. So again, you guys don't need to go with a dark tint like this to uh, you know, benefit from the heat rejection properties of it. But the windshield's probably one of the most important places to put tint um, in regards to keeping the, the heat out. So in a sedan, also with the glass facing up on the rear and the windshield too is like the most important place to put it because most of the sun comes through those glasses right there that are facing up. That is crazy right there. I can't see you at all. Not even a bit, dude. That's so sick, thank you. Oh my gosh, dude. The truck looks actually fake. This right here is where windshield tint really shines because I'm driving into the sunset right now and it cuts the glare down tremendously, which is really, really nice. Oh man, this is great. My goodness, we went dark. We went dark, dude. You can't see a thing inside. Look at this. You can barely see the handle inside there because it's in direct sunlight too, and you can still barely see that, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we went dumb this time, but it looks so sick though. Now I'm having trouble like wanting to wrap my truck, dude. Black on black on black, triple black right now. Blacked out windows, blacked out wheels, blacked out full body, except for the uh, badge in the front here though. That's soon to come, but yeah, dude, this thing is insanely tinted. I mean, that is dumb tint right there. So we have 5% on the sides. You can't see literally a thing in there. Look at that, nothing. Now, sometimes when you do like the limo tint on the side windows and you have nothing on the windshield, a lot of the sunlight comes through the windshield and lightens up the, at least the front area. And you're able to see through the side windows in the front, even with, uh, even with limo. But in this case, not so much. If, if barely at all, dude, that looks insane right there. The truck looks fake. It's like a, cl like a clay model of a truck before they like actually make it. 5% on all the sides and the rear glass too. Um, and over the factory like tint that comes from the factory, it's a pigmented glass and it's probably right about 20% tint. And uh, yeah, dude, that combined with the five is like extra dumb dark. Like you can't see literally like a thing in there dude crazy so dark also i happened to uh finesse a little deal out of him for you guys so for the entire month of april if you guys get a full tint job um that means every piece of glass including windshield he's giving you guys 10 percent off the entire job so that right there is a pretty good deal as you guys can see pretty amazing how you can see out of it perfectly fine i would most compare this now this is 40 percent. i normally do 50 on the windshield i went a little bit darker this time um i probably recommend a 50 if you guys want like a nice stealth look but also being able to see out of it a little bit better yeah dude 40 percent. i mean you can see out of it just fine like that's the windshield tint compared to no tint right there i mean obviously a huge difference but it's like wearing sunglasses pretty much so it's totally it's totally easy to see out of 
it's not a big deal. It's not hard by any means. And then that's the 5% right there. So here we have 5% and no tint. So yeah, a bit of a difference right there. And even over the factory tint too. So that's 5% right there combined with the like factory about 20%. And you can see out of it just fine in the daytime. Huge shout out to Pedro over at Daylight Window Tint. Pedro, you are my boy. You do amazing work. You're the only person I'll go and drive to for a tent job. If I'm three hours away, if I'm an hour away, which I am right now, you're worth the drive, bro. So looks amazing. And like I said, guys, this is going to be probably the biggest, like this week right here is probably gonna make the biggest difference in this truck right here because I'm doing the lift kit this week and then probably starting it next week on the full wrap. That right there is going to be absolutely epic which is gonna be kind of hard to do because I'm really liking the all blacked out look. I'm also doing the taillights pretty soon too, and then blocking out that Toyota badge. And this thing is going to be full on black on black on black, dude. So that right there's pretty cool too. 40% on the windshield is a very curious thing at nighttime. So let's uh, wait till the sun goes down and go for a drive. All righty guys, welcome to the inside of the truck at nighttime with the 40 on the windshield and the five on the side. Look at this, I can see everything just fine. It's not bad whatsoever now comparing it to no tint that's where you see it so here we have 40 on the windshield and there's no tint right there so obviously it's a pretty uh it's a pretty big difference but again it's totally i can see everything just fine it's totally transparent so yeah no tint five percent tint and even at that i can still see that just fine too no issues there whatsoever but yeah the 40 on the windshield it's not it's not terrible 50% be even better. There'd be absolutely no even hesitation. It'd be, it's, it's totally fine. And then 70 is like invisible. Also, the prototype has, the prototyped thing that we put on this truck has been completed. So you guys will see that in the next video. And also very, very soon, like in the next couple of days soon, the lift kit goes on too. So a lot of cool things to come, dude. This project is just getting started. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.